Hey people of the interweb, I'm Nostalgic Dave, and welcome back to Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. It's been what, 15 years? About that. About that, yes. 15 years is a long time to wait. Can't imagine how much I've suffered. You've... You've suffered? But now, the perfect opportunity has presented itself. At last, I shall have my revenge. What? Merry Christmas. This isn't looking good for us. <laughs> What? Do you know if there are any good waterfalls around here? Waterfalls? Dare I ask why? Duh, Nick! Isn't it obvious? I need a waterfall to stand under. Preferably a freezing one. Why? Why not just go take a shower? Oh. Is that part of your spirit medium training? Of course! Except I've been slacking off lately. I need to break the elements to be forged anew under the rushing spring waters. Um. Okay. I don't know about any falls per se, but Gord Lake is a pretty is pretty close. Oh. Darn. Sorry. Them's the breaks. Couldn't you just take a shot a cold shower or something? Good idea. Oh my god. <laughs> Last episode already drove me crazy. Don't don't you start doing it. So much for rushing spring waters. Next in the news, a large unidentified animal was sighted at Gord Lake. The town is buzzing with excitement. Locals are calling it Gordy in a tip. It's like another Loch Ness monster. The tip of the hat to Nessie, the Loch Ness Monster, yeah. Though its namesake, Nessie, proved to be a hoax. Locals are confident their Gordy is the real deal. Sure. <sighs> Boring. Can't they show real news for a change? Nick? What? The water pressure's kind of low in that shower. You want more pressure, huh? Why don't you go down to the fire department and have them spray you with the hose? Oh my god. Good idea. How is that a good idea? That would give you a migraine. Apparently, Fae Blood is no aid in detecting sarcasm. We interrupt this program to bring you a special news bulletin. Strange occurrences continue at Gord Lake, but this time it's a murder. Gord Lake again? Are you paying attention? They just said it's murder. Body of a man was found in the lake early this morning. A suspect was apprehended. So as is inside the police department revealed that the suspect's name is Miles Edgeworth, age 24. Edgeworth was an up-and-coming prosecutor known for his skill and connections. He was guaranteed a long and rewarding career. Has he thrown it all away? There it is. Edgeworth? What's going on? Edgeworth would never do something like... Nick? Ah, oh, for the love of... What? Sight! Maya! Fireman yelled at me when I called him. You've got bigger things to worry about than that. They arrested Edgeworth. What? You mean the prosecutor? Yeah, he's a suspect in a murder. What? When? Where? Who? Why? How? Oh my! All the questions. <laughs> I I don't know. Let's go find out, Nick. All right, to the detention center. You know, Nick, 
We've all been in here one time or another, haven't we? I guess it comes with the territory. I'm not sure if it's something we should mention to too many people. Edgeworth, hi! Ah! Oh wait, no, that's Maya. Ah! Hey, Edgeworth, come back! What are you doing here? Nick, I don't think he's in a very good mood. No kidding! Well, he is in detention. Were you in a good... Were you in a good mood when you were here? So you've come to laugh at the fallen attorney? Then laugh! Laugh! Well, why aren't you laughing? Because that's not why I'm here. <laughs> Nick, should we be laughing? No. Nah, it's a trick. Laugh and he'll get mad. Or burst into tears. Edgeworth. We don't have so much free time we can spend it coming down here to laugh at you. Yes, you do. Actually, he's right. Phoenix! Come on! I hoped you wouldn't come. I didn't want you to see me like this. Well, see me. Not like this. Actually, if I finished the statement like this, that would have worked. Because of that! I didn't want to see you like this either, believe me. Edgeworth, tell me what happened. Why should I? What are you going to do about it? Duh! We're going to help you, that's what! Help me? You? Don't be ridiculous. Sorry? You're a novice. You've only been in three trials. Hey! Sure you got lucky and won all three. Um, I don't think that's luck. But your luck's bound to run out someday. You need real skill, right? Experience. <sighs> Nick, he's insulting you. Nick? Why am I always the one who has to get angry? Calm down. The murder took place at Gordon Lake, correct? Yes, late last night. The lake is a long way away from your office. And the courthouse. Why were you down there? I see no need to tell you. Mr. Edgeworth? You... you didn't really... Gordy. Huh? I went to see Gordy. That's a lie. You're not the kind of guy who would believe in that kind of stuff. There's no way that's true. What's that? I'll tell you later. Why won't Edgeworth talk to us? I've only got my attorney's badge, so I can't really prove anything yet. We'll come back later. Alright, Gord Lake. This is where it happened? Yeah, Gord Lake is in the middle of this park. I can see some police walking around in there. Questioning people, probably. Hey, isn't that Detective Gumshoe over there? Well, pal? Yep. There's enough of us here. Anyone found anything? S Sorry, sir. Nothing. Idiot! The trial's tomorrow. We need clues on the double. B but, sir, there weren't any clues. That's why we arrested that attorney, Mr. Edgeworth. It's clear, sir. He's the one who... Shut up! <laughs> I definitely gave him the right voice when I decided to use that one. Just you try saying that again. I'll, I'll, I'll make you sorry if you do. So just, just get out of my face, pal. Y yes, sir. Detective Gumshoe's kind of scary today. Recruits. Hi. Ah! 
Hey, you're that hairy guy. Hairy butts. Right. Phoenix Wright. Will he ever learn my name? And just what are you doing here, pal? Investigating? Uh... Well, yeah. I suppose. Well, I'm here to help. Ask me anything you want. What the f- What just happened? Bring it! Okay, okay, calm down. He seems different than usual. I wonder what's up. Um... Mr. Richard hasn't exactly asked us to defend him yet. Huh? Oh, you don't say. Well, he's not asking anyone to defend him. That's a problem. I think. I don't remember. What happened? Detective Gumshoe? Do you know what happened here? Huh? You don't know, pal? No. Wow, okay. Mr. Head in the Fluffy Pink Clouds lawyer. Head in the... Huh? Never mind. I'll tell you. It happened last night, about 15 minutes after midnight. There was a boat out on Gord Lake. In that boat were two men. One of those men shot the other with a pistol. And the shooter was Mr. Edgeworth? A cop who arrived on the scene arrested him. How did they get there so fast? Well, there was a witness. When the report came in, we raced to the lake. A uh, witness? Okay. You don't think Mr. Edgeworth is a murderer, do you? Absolutely not! It's impossible! I don't care if there's a witness either. I don't believe a lick of it! You're right. Who cares what the witness says? I care. <laughs> Apparently. You really believe in him, don't you, Detective? Of course I do! But the police are pretty sure he's the killer. Nobody's even really taking the investigation that seriously. Oh no! After all the help Mr. Edgeworth has been to us. Hard to imagine that no one's standing up to take his side. Well, at least you are, Detective. At least you are. Do you know who will be Mr. Edgeworth's defense attorney in tomorrow's trial? He hasn't got one yet. What?! The trial is tomorrow, isn't it? Well, I don't know the whole story, but apparently no one he's been talking to will take his case. Why not? Mr. Edgeworth won't tell me. When you guys showed up, I figured he'd ask you to defend him. Uh, unfortunately not. Well, pal, then you got a job to do. Help out Mr. Edgeworth. Prove that badge you wear isn't some fancy piece of metal. Prove it to me, pal. Show me you're an attorney. Challenge accepted. <laughs> Who was this witness? Er, sorry, pal. That's confidential. Anyway, the witness saw everything, apparently. I'm sure they'll turn up at the trial tomorrow. Was there only that one witness? Yep. It was pretty cold out on the lake that night. Last night. And it was Christmas Eve, after all. Still, we're being thorough. You know, you never know when you're gonna turn up another witness. That's why we're here today, checking things out. So far, we're coming up with that. Nothing. Empty. Same thing. Oh, it's Christmas today. I'd forgotten. What are you getting me for Christmas, Nick? Aren't they, like, together or something? Am I missing something? Talk to Santa. <laughs> Talk to Santa. Okay. Wait, so... Okay. Now let's go back to the detention center, I guess. Your attorney's badge? Edgeworth. Let me defend you. Huh, <laughs> what? 
Good one, right? But I'm not that hard up. Not yet. What do you mean by that? Me? Trust a wet behind the ears lawyer with only three trials under his belt? Never! What? My case is near hopeless, right? Every defense attorney I've talked to has turned me down. What? Simply put, they were afraid they'd lose. It occurred to me that it might be my fault that they lack confidence. After all, I did get every single one of their clients declared guilty. I don't believe it. Regardless, I don't want you involved in this. You in particular, I cannot ask to do this. Why? Edgeworth, this is really hard for me to ask. But you didn't do it, right? Right? Think what you will. I have only one request. Huh? Stay out of this case. Why? But, but Nick is trying to help you. I know. I know that. But I don't want your help, okay? Why not? Look, just go away and leave me alone. <sighs> Nick, Mr. Edgel did it, didn't he? Maya, let's go investigate elsewhere. But Nick... I'm just a little bit worried now. <laughs> Is it true? No one will take Edward's case? Yeah. He's a bit of a celebrity. If you defended him and lost your reputation to be sure to suffer. What's more, the case against him is, well, it's pretty solid. I suppose it would be if they have a witness. Hey, pal! Don't let, tell me you're going to turn your back on him too. Remember the Steel Samurai case? Mr. Edgeworth helped you get your client declared innocent. I... I know. I went to Edgeworth. I tried. He really doesn't want us to represent him. Especially not us, he said. What? Well, that doesn't make any sense, pal. Should have heard him talking about you after that trial. He kept saying, right, 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 over and over. Nick? I'm not sure that's a good sign. Neither am I. Why wouldn't he want your help? I don't get it. Detective Gumshoes. Detective Gumshoes, sir! What? Find something? Um, no, sir. Not yet. But there was a call from the precincts. They want to hold... They want to hold an investigation briefing. A briefing? Right. I'm off. Oh. Sorry, pal. I guess you heard. I gotta go. Any last things you want to ask me about before I head out? Head back? Uh, the autopsy report, please. Well, yes. Do you have any information on the victim? Sorry. They haven't worked up the autopsy report yet. I'm still waiting for it myself. Actually... Say if you say if you get the time, drop by the precinct. We can talk more there, pal. You're not coming back, detective. Uh, probably not, pal. So what should we do if we have something to talk to you about? I've got hiccups. All right. Well, I've been drinking his water and I haven't eaten anything hot, so what the hell? Here, I'll show you how to get to the precinct. Come down and see me anytime. Directions to the police station received from Detective Gumshoe. Oh, hey, Detective Gumshoe. What? Uh, we'd like to take a look around in the park. Can we walk around? Yeah, no problem, pal. You got my permission. Cool. You know, Nick, I think there's something to be said for talking to people when they're busy. Yeah? 
They don't have time to think about not giving you information. Right. Now let's get investigating. <laughs> the fact that you were thi- Let's go here first. Wowzers, this is Gord Lake. Yep. I'm not sure it warrants a Wowzers, though. Hmm. Probably not. But hey, look at that snack stand. Samurai dogs. I want a samurai dog, please. <laughs> I bet they're great. With a name like Samurai Dog, how could they not be? They're a little behind the times, though. The kids are all into the Pink Princess now. I mean, like, you know? No. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Let's examine the area, see if there's anything. What is that? What is this? Line up a plus benches. I guess the idea is you buy a dog and eat it here. I doubt anyone would sit here and eat on a day like this. Except maybe Maya, if she had a samurai dog. Fair enough. Uh, you know what, Let, let's just move on. Gord Lake Woods. I like it here, Nick. Look, someone's camping. They've got guts, camping at the scene of the murder. Hey, hey, Nick! If they were camping here last night, they might know something about the murder. That's true. Good call, Maya. Let's go talk to them. Or, let's have Maya be an idiot and have her toy with this thing. Hey, Nick, check out this camera. Yeah. What's with the big mic, the big mic and the box on top, I wonder? Looks like some sort of automatic system for taking a photo when a noise is heard. Whoa! Hey, let's see if it works! <coughs> Hi, I'm Nick! Maybe I'm not saying it loud enough. You! Yeah! I'm Nick! Ow! Any louder and I'm just going to burst my... Huh? Will you stop that? I think it's broken, Nick. Don't kick it. Must not be set up to respond to voices. Anywho. This SUV has been seen better days. It's dented. Can't believe anyone would drive their car down here. Food and some magazines on the sheets. Blah, 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 blah. The sign says no camping. Funny place to pick. Yeah. Wait, what if the sign said no setting tents on fire? Um. Maya? Can you read? I don't think they have signs like that. Oh. Okay, well, moving on. Nick, what is this place? A boat rental shop. Closed for Christmas, it seems. I guess a murder taking place on one of the boats won't be good for business either. Boats? I've never went out on a boat. Really? Well, how about we go out on one when the trial is finished? Hey, good idea. You bet. Alright, it's a date. They are officially together. I don't give a frick if it's canon or not. They are together. <laughs> There's nothing here right now. So I guess we're going back to the entrance and going over to the precincts. Looks like Detective Gumshoe isn't here. Something wrong, miss? Hmm? Turning yourself in? Okay, what did you do? Shoplifting? Larceny? Public indecency? Ah, I can't say that. Public indecency? 
There we go. No! None of those things. We're looking for Detective Gumshoe. Is he around? Gumshoe? Oh, yeah. He's in a meeting right now. I don't think he'll be out anytime soon. Okay, we'll come back. You do that. Oh, you go straight home and stay out of trouble. No more shoplifting. You got the... Do I look like a criminal or something? No. Trying to keep a straight face, I can't. Nope. I can't do it. Alright, so... I guess... Am I missing something? Well, I mean, obviously, but... Trees grow quite thick here. For the back, the trees fade into the shadow where the sunlight can't reach them. Hey, Nick. What? Don't tell me you're hungry again. No, no. I was just wondering why our camping pots and pans made of aluminum. They didn't talk about that in any of the law books. So there's no law saying they have to be made out of aluminum then? Not all pots and pans are. I'm not having this conversation. Wait. Then... What do you want from me? Okay. Maybe I was supposed to examine over here and I'm just a dumbass. Wow, Gorth Lake is really big. Yeah. Say, Nick, why is it called Gorth Lake? Oh. Well, a long time ago they used to, used to grow gourds here. Whoa, no way. I was sure it was because the gourd, the lake looked like a gourd when viewed from above. You know? You know, like an hourglass shape? Well, it is shaped like a gourd, actually, but that's just a coincidence. Oh, okay. Oh, I did not. Trash can is empty. At least the place is well maintained. Huh, I almost didn't see the signpost. Left, boat docks, right, exit. Hot dog stand, it's closed. Christmas fringe looks a little half-baked. The banner reads Samurai Dogs. Somebody needs to redecorate. Ah! What am I missing? Alright, we've hit the point where... I basically know nothing. I have no fucking idea what to do. Well... I've examined everything here, haven't I? What I've learned from playing the tril this trilogy is you got to be extremely thorough, otherwise... There's more forest off that way. I doubt I'd find any helpful clues in there. Small boat rental shop. Doesn't look like anyone is around. They're probably closed because it's Christmas. There's some boats floating at the docks. Was one of the was one of these boats used in the murder, I wonder? Nick? Huh? I changed my mind. I don't really want to go for a boat ride.
You think I'm gonna kill you or something, Maya? What the hell? Might kill you with love, if anything. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I swear to God, if it's if this is the reason, then I'm gonna be pissed off. Well, what should we do? Blah blah. blah. Investigate. I know. It's pretty much the same. Okay, move to the detention center again, I guess. No, because there's literally nothing to do here. So that detects desks, computers, and files on each one. Funny, they're a lot tidier than I'd expected. Because the detectives don't spend a lot of time at their desks. That must be one of the detectives. He's mumbling something to himself. Your mama could see, you know, she'd be crying. A break and spit it out. What? He must be doing image training for interrogations. This must be the chief of the detectives here. He's glued to his computer screen. What? Gold Lake? Gordy sighted! I don't believe it! Shouldn't she be reading something more important? Hey, is that the police department's mascot? That's the Blue Badger! It was my idea! I made it. My, I made it! It's my mascot! I see. How nice! I'll get him a sign, mascot of the Criminal Affairs Department, if it's the last thing I do! Uh, good luck! Poster of a female police officer. Wait, no. That's the latest babes in uniform calendar. My bad. I mean, you're not wrong, though. I mean, technically, it is a police officer in costume. Or in uniform, whatever. It could be costume. I've literally examined everything. I've done everything, so... Did I miss something? Love scanning the entirety of everything. Alright, that's annoying. Anyway, um... now at this point this this particular um... oh wait wait I might have an idea no 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 this wasn't I trying to examine this beforehand huh someone left some poppers here you know you you know you pull the string and it goes pop yeah I know the ones you know, the, oh, that was Maya the first time. Whoops. Another ones. You see them a lot around New York. Hey, Nick. There might be a clue. Let's take them. Come on, admit it. You just want to pop them, right? Was it that obvious? It's you, Maya. Come on. Yes, it was that obvious. Poppers. Hmm. Take them. I suppose it couldn't hurt. Huh? Where'd they go? Into my pockets. Oh, my God. <gasps> okay, Maya. Okay. Of course that's what I was missing. There we go, okay. This camera has a mic and some sort of attachment. You must take pictures when triggers the noise. Already heard this. Maybe it's broken. D don't kick it. 
Maybe it isn't res set to respond to voices. Well, what the? These things? The party poppers? Yep! There it goes. Well, it responded. Yeah! Whoa. Hey, you, get your hands off of that. Off of that. Eek! What in Sam Hill? Look what you done now. There goes a whole roll of film. Ah! What? Huh? S sorry. Sorry, it's nice, but it don't pay my bills. Y'all know how much a roll of that film costs? 80 bucks? Something like that. <laughs> I'll pay you back. What were y'all thinking, setting off potty poppers in a place like this? Uh, well... What? Don't try to play stupid with me just cause you think I'm some country bumpkin. Yeah, I know how y'all yanks the- oh. What?! I say, those southern folks talk with the exaggerated draw. Why, they must be dumb. That's stupid. But let me tell you, just because I might be dumb don't mean we are all. We all are. Nick, help! And who are you now? Her chaperone? Yeah, n uh, no, 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 rather, uh... J just figure out what y'all are gonna say and say it for Jesus' sake. God! I'd rather sit through one of Papa's drawls than listen to you stutter all day. Oh boy. I guess we should pay her for the film. Watch it! Yes, ma'am. On second thought, I'll pay later. I'm really sorry. I don't like this lady. Um. What? Can't you see I'm changing the film on my camera here? Someone, I'm not naming any names, but someone used a, a whole roll! Wow! Sorry. That didn't work. I wonder if I have anything to show her that would get her attention. Okay, so same thing. Uh, yeah, this is my badge. Huh? Aren't badges supposed to be all shiny and impressive? You a cop or something? Um, I'm a lawyer. What? Y'all ain't gonna try and pull one of them lawsuits on... No! Cause I'll have y'all know, I'm a fighter and I wrestle a... Mean looking things in you. No, that's not at all. We're here investigating a murder that took place here on the lake. Murder? Sounds cool. Why didn't y'all say that in the first place? Go ahead, ask me anything you like. Finally, some cooperation. You too. Y'all can come out of hiding now. I won't bite. Huh? Come to think of it, where did Maya get to? S sorry. I was feeling a little overwhelmed. The culture cap and all. Never you mind, honey. I can... I can talk yank for you if you... <clears throat> if it pleases you. But thanks. I think I'll be okay. Great then. I'm Lana. Lot of heart. But y'all can call me love. I'm here photographing. Meteor showers for a research project. Mighty pleased to meet you. Okay. Oh yeah, who was that murder anyway? I ain't seen much television lately. It happened late in the e it happened late in the night on Christmas Eve. That's so. Christmas Eve. A man on a boat was shot. Did you see anything? Well, let me see. A boat, you say? I reckon Whoa, what was that? <laughs> um no. Damn it. I reckon I might have seen one. Not sure though. Y'all gotta remember I've been watching this here lake for a good three days now. 
Wow. I seen enough boats to choke a mule. Kinda hard to remember which I seen me. What? Okay. What? So what is it you do, Lada? Huh? Me? Haha! <laughs> Y'all don't really want to know that, do you? Actually, I'm a research student at Country U. Right in the heart of the heart. Wow, neat. Nick, she's a research student. Okay. No, really. So when did you come up here? Hmm, let me see. I guess it was about three days ago. What are you photographing? What are you photographing? Didn't I tell you all that already? Meteors. Yep, meteor shells. Falling stars. That's quite a camera you have there. Y'all better know it. It's German made, a genuine cylinder. Isn't that where they make knives? Why is that relevant? Um. So what's that? What's that device you have stuck to the camera? Huh? Device? The camera went off all by itself when I fired my party popper. Oh, that? That might trick us. The shutter when it detects. I can't. I'm trying to keep up with accents. I can't do it. I'm not good at that particular one. It's programmed to pick up loud noises right now. A programmable camera? Neat! Uh, okay. What else? Lotta? Yeah? So, your camera it triggers on loud explosion noises? Ah, uh, yeah? Actually, the victim in the case we were researching, he was shot with a pistol. A pistol? Right. Now, wouldn't a gunshot make a similar noise to our party popper? I guess it would. The camera didn't get a picture of the murder, did it? Hey! Y'all are pretty bright! Huh? I see what you're saying. Tell you what, I'll have a look-see at my film. Would have been... It would have been a photo... It would have... No! Oh! I can't speak! Would have been a photo taken last night. I checked it once. Don't remember if there was anything on him, though. What if I got something... I could be witness to a genuine murder? Yeehaw! I'll go check that film. Y'all come back now, yeah? And she's gone. Alright, well... She went inside her SUV. Guess we should come back later. Yeah. However, for right now, I am going to leave this video here. Uh, we'll finish up investigating and start up the trial in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. Phoenix Ride Ace Satani. If you liked it, push that like button in so far you can't see it anymore. If you really liked it, consider subscribing to the channel. Got any suggestions for me? Let me know in the comments below. Or if you want to check out any footage that I've done in the past or I'm currently working on now, uh, click the box down over there. Or if you want to check out the rest of the playlist for this game, just click the box across from my head over here. In the meantime, I'm out and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!